Bear News reporter Emily Gutierrez went outside to take a closer look at the sidewalks here in Greeley. Emily Gutierrez, Bear News reporter here on 22nd Street and 11th Avenue cross section, here to talk about pedestrian dignity and sidewalk accessibility here in Greeley. When residents walk down 11th Avenue south of the University of Northern Colorado, they're rubbing shoulders with traffic going anywhere from 30 to 40 miles an hour. On the skinny sidewalk that pedestrians saddle, their paths are blocked sometimes by trash cans or lampposts. UNC student Drew Peters says that while he feels safe running recreationally on campus, he feels less safe off campus, citing how sidewalks are often cleared of snow or other obstructions. According to Statista, about 90% of households own at least one car. In a country run by cars, pedestrians can be easily forgotten, but foot traffic is important to communities. Jonathan Stalls is a TikTok sensation, and he uses his platform to talk about the importance of public walkways. Stalls runs a TikTok account with over 80,000 followers, and he shares what makes a good walkway. Good examples. Quality directional ramps, good updated paint at the crossing, a raised crossing for oncoming cars to the busy arterial street detached wide flat sidewalks that are off the main road. Allison Baxter, a Greeley transportation planner, also believes in the importance of sidewalks and other walkways. Baxter says that Greeley is in the process of upgrading downtown areas to be more pedestrian friendly by slowing down traffic and widening sidewalks. According to Baxter, Greeley has a ways to go in creating safe and accessible walkways, but is making strides towards pedestrian safety. Emily Gutierrez, Bear News, back to the studio. Who knew something as simple as sidewalk could be so controversial?